Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. And also, credits to Math Wizards for sharing this wonderful question. So let's start. Here's the question. Let P of X be a quintic polynomial such that P of 1 is equal to 3, P of 2 is equal to 4, P of 3 is equal to 7, P of 4 is equal to 11, P of 5 is equal to 18, and P of 6 is equal to 29. And the question is, find the value of P of 7. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video, and if you're ready, here's the solution. Our first solution is by using the method of finite difference. So first thing to do is to list down all the values of P1, P2, P3, P4, up to P6. So we have 3, we have 4, 7, 11, 18, and 29. Next, get the difference between 4 and 3, we get 1. The difference between 7 and 4 is 3. The difference between 11 and 7 is 4, and so on and so forth. Next, we repeat the process. We have 3 minus 1, or simply 2. 4 minus 3 will give us 1. 7 minus 4 will give us 3. And 11 minus 7 will give us 4. We repeat the process. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Again, do the same process. 2 minus negative 1 will give us 3. 1 minus 2 will give us 1. For the last time, we have negative 1, minus 3, or simply negative 4. Now, take note of these numbers, 3, 1, 2, negative 1, 3, and negative 4. We will use those numbers to create our polynomial P of X. P of X must be equal to, we have 3 plus 1 over 1 factorial multiplied by x minus 1 plus 2 over 2 factorial multiplied by x minus 1 and x minus 2. Next, negative 1 over 3 factorial multiplied by x minus 1, x minus 2, and x minus 3. Next, plus 3 over 4 factorial multiplied by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 4. And the last one, negative 4 over 5 factorial multiplied by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4, and x minus 5. Now, if you want to simplify p of x, go for it. But our goal is to find the value of p of 7. Therefore, replace all x by 7 and you get 40. And we're done. Now, another solution is by using some pattern. To do this, we will use the concept of finite difference. So again, list down all the values of P1, 2, P6. We have 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, and 29. Now get their difference. We have 1, we have 3, we have 4, 7, and 11. Do the same thing. We have 2. We have 1, 3, and 4. Again, do the same thing. Negative 1, positive 2, and 1. Do the same thing again. We have 3 and negative 1 and the last number must be negative 4. Now since the last difference is 4, it follows that all numbers in this column must be equal to negative 4. Now our goal is to find this number such that this number minus negative 1 will give us negative 4 and that number is negative 5. We do the same thing. A number minus 1 will give us negative 5 and that number is negative 4. Again, do the same thing. A number minus 4 will give us negative 4 and that number must be 0. Next, A number minus 11 will give us 0 and that number must be 11. And for the last time, A number minus 29 will give us 11 and that number must be 40. Because 40 minus 29 will give you 11. And this 40 is our P of 7. And we're done. 